Number one is All American Money. Nonuke's three year old brown colt from Moon Shaker, owned by Tom Mottram and Luca Vernich and Cal Leibowitz. Trained by Jean Beliveau, winner of four and 11 this year with a mark of 151 and four, the driver is Randy Waples, who was a finalist for Canada's Driver of the Year last year and winner of the 1997 Canadian Pacing Derby final. Number one for the Cup 33 second elimination is All American Money. Superstar Killeen 2 has been a superstar in the Ontario Sire Stakes. Run the table of Chestnut 3-year-old Colt from Larjon Heather. Owned and driven by Ray Schnitker, co-owner Seal Stable and Kelks Incorporated and Howard Taylor. Trained by Paul Doherty. Winning 4 and 18 this year. A mark of 152. $311,000 on his card. Number 2 is Superstar Killeen. Here's Art Escape number 3. Arts Place, three-year-old Bay Colt from Delinquent Account. Owned by Brittany Farms and Brian Monison of Chicago and Northbrook, Illinois. Trained by Bob McIntosh, who has sent out past winners in the Provincial Cup, including Bond Street, Mystery Fund, and Cam Luck. Mike Lachance, the driver of 1990 winner Cam Luck. Art Escape was the Breeders' Crown, two-year-old Colt Pace champion of 1997. Winner of four and six this year. That's number three, Art Escape, with a 707 thousand dollars in purse earnings on his card. Reality's Place is number four. Here's an Arts Place three-year-old Bay Gelding from True Reality. Owned by Nick Barbieri of Woodbridge. Trained by Raoul Bourgeois, the driver is Chris Christopher With six wins in 13 starts this year and a mark of 151 and won $52,000 on his card. Number four is Reality's Place. Brilliant Campbell number five. From the tried and true tandem of Garth Gordon and driver Mike Saftig. Owned by trainer Garth Gordon, co owners Brandy Cat Stables, and Len Colson. This is a Bruce Kimball three year old gelding from Brilliant Strike. A winner of seven and 22 this year, and a mark of 152 and four. Five is Brilliant Gamble. Damien Sealster, number six. Owned and trained by Bob McIntosh, Bob McIntosh Stables of Windsor, co-owner Ron Kohler of Clinton Township, Michigan. A precious bunny, three-year-old Bay Colt from Decisive Elmerhurst. Winning six in 14 this year. Half-mile track record of 154-4 and four at Saratoga on his card. The driver is the nation's 1997 Driver of the Year, Steve Condren. Six is Damien Sealster. And completing the field is number seven, Run to the Bank. Third place finish here in this year's North America Cup for a purse of $1 million. This is a run the table chestnut three year old Colt from Lady Evelyn. Owned by Sandy Farber of Palisades Park, New Jersey, and Joe Mari of Nevada. Greg McNair, the trainer who in the past won many meet titles here at Windsor Raceway. 1998's highest earning driver is in the bike, Luke Ouellette, at $7 million plus and counting. A winner of four and 15 this year, $290,000 plus, and a mark of 152 and two. Number seven is Run to the Bank. That's the field for the 10th race, second elimination of the 1998 and 33rd annual Provincial Cup. Moving up to speed, they swing into the backstretch. Windsor's 10th race, the second elimination of the 33rd annual Provincial Cup. And they're off. At the inside, Art Escape and Superstar Killeen. All American money goes with them. Reality's place to the outside is fourth. Brilliant Campbell back in fifth and Damian Sealster. And Run to the Bank is taken in Randa Race from the rear of the field. They're spreading out in their program numerical order. There they are. One through seven on down to the quarter. All American money to the front. Superstar Killeen second. Art Escape Blachance not waiting very long. Already up and moving midway in that first turn. Reality's place. Brilliant Gamble in the last pair. Damian Sealster and run to the bank. Here comes Art Escape, the heavy favorite, striding to the front. Quarter was 26 and 4. Art Escape and Mike Lachance take over. First time at the wire. All American money will travel along in second. Two more lengths, Superstar Killeen. Under some right handed reminders from Schnitker to close the gap from third. Reality's Place is fourth. Brilliant Campbell fifth. Run to the bank gained sixth along the inside. And tipped out from seventh was Damien Sealster. Art Escape at the half in 55 and 3. Uh, that was Art Escape, 20.
28 and 4 in the second quarter. He's the leader. Brilliant Gamble is off stride in the backfield. It's all Artiscape moving inside the final three eighths in the second cup. 33 elimination. All American money following in. Here's Reality's Place sacrificing the outside. Now third. Superstar Killing traveling on the inside fourth. Back in fifth and moving to the outside is run to the bank. Damien Sealster and the Gapto trailer after the third quarter break and out of it is Brilliant Gamble. Artiscape stepping away on them now. All American money went rough a few steps along the inside. Reality's Place comes on for second. Run to the bank, the outside third. Then All American money, Damien Sealster. Superstar Killing is blocked. Artiscape top of the stretch. 124 and 1. The inquiry sign is posted. Please hold all tickets. Art Escape down the stretch. LaChance is keeping him fresh for the final. He'll cruise under the wire to win it by five. It's all Art Escape home in a very comfortable 152 and 4 over Reality's Place. Run to the bank third. Superstar killing fourth. And All American Money unofficially fifth by the judges during conduct of the 10th race. Please hold all tickets. The judges have called for a review of several portions of the race as the field passed the half. The inquiry sign posted by the judges from the 10th race. Please hold all tickets. Three Art Escape returns from the 10th race. Arts Place three-year-old Bay Colt from Delinquent Account. Owned by Brittany Farms and Brian Monison of Chicago and Northbrook, Illinois. Trained by Bob McIntosh, driven to victory by Mike Lashots, winning five in seven this year, 152 and four in the second Provincial Cup 33 elimination for Art Escape. Helping out with the blanket presentation trackside, Mr. and Mrs. Vince Marcotte, the mayor of LaSalle, and Mike Hurst, the mayor of Windsor, along with his wife Debbie Hurst, and children Cody and Brittany Hurst. Thanks to the Hursts and the Marcotts, mayors of Windsor and LaSalle for helping out with the trackside presentation from the second Cup 33.